Hi my loved ones, it's your girl Miss Chanel and today's video is per request from one of my subscribers and they wanted to see my Kat Von D collection. So all I have by Kat Von D is probably a couple of palettes and I just picked up her um, triple threat tattoo liners. I'm going to show you that at the end of this video but I'm just going to go ahead and show you all the palettes that I got from Kat Von D. I don't have none of her lipsticks. I think I might get like one or two of her lipsticks, but I haven't got any of those as far as right now. I just have like a couple of palettes. So I'm going to show you all the palettes that I got from Kat Von D. And I got like six of them. So let's get started. So this first palette is the True Love palette. And this palette is pretty decent it got uh, has a couple of purples like a dark burgundy color a matte black a brown a cream gold and like a beige shimmery color I really haven't used this palette yet so I really can't tell you how the color payoff of this one is but I really really like the colors but I do have a favorite of the Kat Von D palettes and this is not one of them but this is true love so you get this one right here is a cream shadow. Let me show you how that works. And you could use that as a base. And it's kind of hard. So you're going to have to work with that right there. So that's what that looks like. It's just a shimmery cream eyeshadow. So this one is True Love. And then I have Beethoven. And this is one of the first ones that I picked up. And the um, Kat Von D palettes were like $34.99 if I'm not mistaken. But I did catch a couple of them on sale for $19.99. So this one is Beethoven. You have an array of different colors in here. I don't think there's any color in here that you can actually put together uh, without using the black. So you got black, blue, green, beige, purple, dark purple, brown, and a lavender. Well, maybe the purples, but that's about it. And I think this is a gorgeous color. I really, really like this blue one. Let me swatch it. And this purple one. That blue is gorgeous. Look at that right there. I don't know. They might, that might be a cute combo for a, a tutorial, right? So that is the blue, the purple, and the gold. So this one is Beethoven. Let me get a napkin. Okay, this next one is Saint. And this one is my favorite because this one is mostly neutral colors. And that's what it looks like. It has a whole bunch of nude and neutrals. Your beiges, your golds, and your browns. And this is the one, my go-to palette, especially for work. I do grab this, tend to grab this palette the most. Okay, the next palette is Sinner. And this palette is very, very gorgeous. This is like the smoky eye type palette. So you get your dark purples and your grays and your silvers and your matte blacks. And this one is a gorgeous palette. And most of the colors are shimmery. Except the black and the dark gray. It could. Um, it's kind of pearlized. But let me give you a swatch of this one. And this pink one. And these are very, very pigmented as you can see on my finger. So, I'm going to have to do a look with this gray right here. The gray and silver. So, the last two palettes is the last palette that I picked up so far. And this one was on sale for $19.99. And this one is Metal Orchestra. And I really, really like this palette. I really, really like this palette. And this one has different blues and silver and blacks and these grays look like the same in the last palette in the center palette 
So they are duping a couple of the shadows. Like that blue right there is the same. The black and that two of those gray colors. But this one is absolutely gorgeous. So this one is Metal Orchestra. And I did pick up the newest Kat Von D palette. Which is the colorful palette that I absolutely adore and I haven't had a chance to use it yet but I might do a Kat Von D series. So the last palette is the Mi Vida Loca. And it looks like this. And the cover, the packaging is very very colorful and so cute. It reminds me of the Wiz. So um some of them comes like this, the cheaper version. And most of them comes in the metal tin. And the ones in the metal tin comes with a liner. And the one in this plastic type rubber packaging comes with two cheap little brushes that you are not able to use for anything. So the eyeliner looks like this. And I wear it all the time, especially on my tutorials, because it is very, very pigmented and dark and black, black. It kind of, it's the same as the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil or the Milani Liquid Eye Pencil. So this one is Mi Vida Loca. And this one is very colorful and gorgeous. The colors of the rainbow, you have blue, green, gold, beige. Purple, burgundy, pink, and a shimmery white. So let me give you a swatch of the pink and the green. Very pigmented. Love, love, love. And this one comes with a blue liner and not a black one. So I cannot wait to use that palette. And the liner looks like that. I'm going to have to do a blue look. So yeah. Just gorgeous. So that is the Mi Vida Loca palette. So those are the six Kat Von D palettes that I do already have. Um, I don't know if I plan on getting any more. Maybe if she come out with um, another one. But... Other than that, I think I'm good on the Kat Von D. So then I have the three liners. This just came out, and this is the Triple Thread Tattoo Liners. And all of them are a different size. The the um, the felt tip part is different sizes. So you have a chisel tip. You have a skinny tip. And you have a bold tip. So the bold tip is to achieve a thick cat eye. The thin, the skinny tip is to create a thin cat eye. And the chisel tip is to create a bold cat eye. So let me show you how they work. And they are felt tip, they're not brushes. And they do come on pretty, pretty black, but I'm not really a fan of felt tip. So, um, I don't know. And these were $39, so hopefully they will work good for me. So, let's see how black they are. So, this one is the chisel tip. Okay, now that's black. That's pretty black. Okay, so that's the chisel tip. And the chisel tip is called Trooper. Then you have the skinny tip, which is called... No, my bad. The chisel tip is called Poetica. The skinny tip is called Saint. And I don't know why they don't put it on the actual pen. That don't make no sense. So this one is the skinny tip. Get your skinny tip. Like that. 
So this one is called Saint. And this next one is called Center. And this one is the bold tip. So you could wear it as thin as you want or as thick as you want. But they are pretty black. So I don't know. I really I'm really not used to this felt tip thing. Maybe because sometimes when I put it on, it looks like it doesn't go on. It, it's like it skips or something. I don't know. But I am just a fan of liquid liner with the brush. So we'll see how it works out. I will let you guys know and I will do a review on them if they work for me. Or maybe I could do a tutorial or something to see if it works on me. And you guys tell me what you think. So that is my Kat Von D collection. I hope you guys like it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.